Well, here we are on day three of our um, daily reflections on walking prophetically with Christ. And today we're going to be looking at obedience to God's voice. And the verse we're going to take in is John 10, 27, where it says, My sheep listen to my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. You see, in this verse, Jesus emphasizes the intimate relationship between him and his followers depicted as sheep who recognize and respond to their shepherd's voice and this relationship is really characterized by listening and following highlighting the importance of both hearing god's voice and responding with obedience you see true prophetic walking is not just about receiving divine instructions but acting on them with faith and commitment. And Jesus' sheep, sheep recognise his voice because of their cro- close relationship with them. These rec- uh, this recognition comes from spending time in his presence and becoming familiar with his ways of speaking and leading. Obedience requires an uh, immediate and faithful response to God's guidance Delayed obedience to selective listening can hinder our spiritual growth and alignment with God's purposes. And following Jesus means actually pursuing his direction and making choices that reflect his will. This involves trust and reliance on his wisdom and timing, even when the path is unclear. Spend daily time in prayer and worship to deepen your relationship with God. Read and meditate on the scriptures to become more familiar with his voice and character. And when we sense God's guidance, take immediate steps to obey, no matter how small the instruction may seem. You see, reflecting on the past instances where we hesitated and and commit to a more prompt response in the future. And as we trust that God's instructions are for your good and his glory, even if they challenge your understanding of or comfort zone. So as we remind ourselves of past experiences where obedience led to positive outcomes of spiritual growth, let's share what we believe God is speaking to us by trusted um, other believers for the confirmation and encouragement. And as we open to the feedback and the support from our spiritual community as you walk in obedience. You see, keeping a journal and writing it down of all the instructions and promptings you may receive from God is helpful. And note the actions you take in response and the outcomes or lessons you've learnt from the obe- from your obedience. So Lord, give us the courage and the faith to obey your voice promptly and help us to follow you without hesitation and trusting in your wisdom and guidance and let's reflect on the instruction that God has given us uh, recently and take some steps to act on them by identifying one specific instruction or prompting uh, and uh, prompting and to create a plan to implement it today for instance If you feel led to encourage someone, make a call or send a message immediately. You see, shepherds are really important. And today we've learned about the recognising the voice of a shepherd. So until tomorrow, I look forward to sharing you more about walking uh, prophetically with Christ. So until then, I shall see you then.